Hi, this is Colin, Head of Education at Crocodiles of the World. Today I'm going to talk about Tomistoma. How many people have heard of Tomistoma? Not too many people. Uh, what have you seen on TV? Big crocodiles grabbing wildebeest and zebras. One of the biggest species alive today is called a Tomistoma. These guys are found uh, throughout the Malaysia and Indonesian region. Nowadays though, their population is what we call fragmented. It just means there's little pockets of populations dotted around, um, which is not a healthy, healthy state. And that's down to habitat destruction. So that's one of the key problems that this poor old species faces in the wild. But this is one of the biggest species the males can and do reach uh, five meters and occasionally more. Now they have a very narrow jaw, a relatively narrow jaw. Uh, but these guys, traditionally people have indicated if you've got a narrow jaw in a crocodile, crocodile then it must be a fish eater. But in actual fact, these, these guys, as well as eating fish, tend to eat monkeys, a lot of monkeys. Uh, and occasionally they may even attack humans. So these are a large species, not just a fish eater. Hi everyone, I'm Sean, Director of Crocodiles of the World. And today I'm gonna to be telling you a little bit about our two adult Tomistoma. This adult pair of Tomistoma joined us in 2014 and came all the way from Malaysia. The male of this pair is actually one of our biggest crocs here and he measures approximately 3.6, 3.7 metres in length, which is pretty big. As a species, Tomistoma are generally quite shy and these two are no exception. During the day they spend most of their time hidden underwater and then they come out in the evening and all through the night. In 2017 we were uh, absolutely delighted to uh, hatch out Tomistoma ourselves, first time in the UK. Things are looking good for our knowledge of uh, this species and breeding them in, in, uh, in captivity. So if need be that we can re release some animals back into the wild in the future, once the uh, threats to the species are addressed, at least we're closing on with the knowledge that we, uh, that we need to, to sustain the captive breeding of this species. So another little positive step and something that we're really quite proud of here at Crocodiles of the World.